want to take you up and close to explore the magic of filmmaking. Come up and close. Exclusive access so, to the industry's most revered actor. Let's go. His best actor African film, his best director international documentary for Toronto International Film Festival. He is an actor and a director. Let's go and check the depth of his creativity. Let's go. Hey, what's up? Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, great setup. Yeah. I like. We, we, we try what we can. Good lightning. I could take pictures here, like click, 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 click. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I'm with one of the best directors in Nigeria, in Africa, in the world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Action. So what's it like? The primary thing in directing. Because I see you doing a lot of God. Directing action. is basically organizing the whole set, being the creative head, making everything work. So you have to work with the script and making sure everything. Everything is script, story, shots, camera, sound, location, everything comes together to make directing work. So you do not direct just one one piece. It's not just about directing the the what they call this thing. The Storyline, yeah. Time where you play a character that's kind of similar to your real life character. I don't know if I have a real life character. All right, that's something. Yeah, I think I'm. I don't know. I just think I'm all over the place. I, I'm this today, this tomorrow. I'm right here. I, I studied anatomy. I studied medicine and surgery. I, I'm a director, actor, writer, producer. I. I at the point in time I did music, so my life is everywhere. But has there been a time in your life where you probably act a particular way and you're sure that, you know, I think this is maybe Kunle in so, so so film speaking, that kind of situation? No, not really. Not really. Because most times when I am on set and I pick up a character, yeah. I, I, I become the character. And for every time I'm saying anything, I... I... I always ask myself, why, how is this character going to say it? So it's no longer about another character. It's, I'm that saying particular it based character. On how well, I, I think it's peculiar to you because it's like you kind of mastered all of your skills and that. I don't think it's so easy for. Well, but I mean, I think it maybe because I've been doing it for a while, I guess. So I don't know. Just. I just focus on one thing on at set the at the time, so th that way it just helps. Like it's just like so. This person is an agro. Then obviously he has to be like an agro. This person is is a is an executive in a company. Then, then he has to be an executive. Like and then there are things that will obviously help you get in character. Mm -hmm. Your costume, how you dress, how you, who you're acting with. Um, no matter how how much of a prior character is you in are. me, if I'm in this new character and I'm wearing a different costume, then I'm become someone else. It it just it just sticks that way. And if you're already mannerisms that I've created for this character, the yeah, mannerisms help is. me stick to this character more than the other characters. Yeah. But there's never been a time when you're working on two projects and they have two different characters in Tilly. And it's like I maybe mean, there's, within there's the same time. period. There's been time like that because for example, constantly I'm presently on set with um flatmates where I have a where I'm, I'm like a named character mm -hmm. and we're filming over years, not like just months. Um, them last year, I still with them this year, and I do other projects. But then, um, like I said, it, it takes a lot of mental awareness and a lot of um, strength to remind yourself that this is who you are now at this particular point in time and to stick to it. Very true. So, yeah, when I'm Femi, I'm Femi. Everybody, Femi. Because when you really call me, because that's my character name there, if you call me Femi, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Like, I'm already letting you know that, yeah. You're I, switching I, to Femi. Yeah, as much <laughs> as possible. Amazing. This is good. So how did you move from anatomy, medicine, surgery, and then boom, acting and directing? How did that no, transition work? Because I've been acting, work? like I said, I started acting since I was seven. So that's even before I studied medicine and surgery. So acting was always that. Medicine, I love medicine. I like the, the basic thing is to impact lives. I like to impact lives. And either I'm doing medicine and surgery or I'm, or I'm making films, I'm somehow impacting lives, somehow. 
But films make me travel around a lot. It makes me move around, meet different people. And I don't get bored easily. Medicine, I'm probably just going to be sitting in one place. And definitely not medicine in Nigeria. It's not worth it. But you say you don't really have a personality. Is it due to the fact that you're an actor? No, no, it's just, I think it's just me. You? I, 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 I don't know. It's just me. It's just me. It's not even about being an actor. It's just, for example, you meet me in the hospital, I'm different. You meet me here, I'm different. You meet me somewhere else, I'm different. Uh, so it's not really about my character. Most times, if there's anything close, close to what I do is, is the fact that I, I pretty much have a face that cannot hide how it's feeling. If I'm irritated, you're going to see my face. But at the same time, you still can't predict exactly what I'm going to do. So maybe once in a while, I can split up in a couple of characters, but not, not necessarily. Action. <laughs> what? What? What is it? What is going on? A cockroach. So because of this tiny cockroach, you're shouting like this. So you directing have nothing to do with maybe the past of the film? No, no, no it's part of it now. You can't direct people you don't want. So. You, you, you have an influence on the people that's going to do the film. Because if they cannot deliver, then why not? All they're supposed to do is send audition tapes or sides and you watch and you determine if they work. Depend on the scale of the project, if it's a bigger scale. You come for physical auditions, um, you can do a screen test where you pair them with other actors that you think work and you see what it looks like even before you go on set and then you can move. And then you pick which cast best represented. Yeah, you suggest character. the cast to the producer so they have the communication, the money talk and if it works for their money, yeah, sure. So what's like the duration for like uh, a few more, I don't know how how that works, but like say a few more, an hour 30 minutes. What's, what's the duration? Of shoots? It depends shoot. on the film. If it's an action sequence, it can be three months. If it is, if it is a if it's a series of montage, it can be two days or three days. It, it, it varies. So for this project, how long are we staying? This uh, for, for four days. Four years. No, four days. Four days. days. <gasps> and in four days, we're like done with every single part of the film. Yes, please. Wow. Yeah, so you basically have to create and shoot it. Shoot specific for edits. Shoot exactly what you need in edits. Not necessarily waste a lot of time. Work more on pre-production. Work more on the actors knowing what they're supposed to do, developing their characters, um, and then putting all the pieces together on set. So even though it is being shot for four days, uh -huh. it takes a wealth of experience that, has, that is longer than four days to make it work in four days, and it takes um, the experience from also the actors and their level of commitment. But what is filmmaking to you? I think filmmaking is broad, and I don't think it can be captured in one sentence or two sentences. Mm. I think filmmaking is filmmaking. It's creating memories. So what is acting? What would you define acting in your time? Acting is becoming. That's what I take acting as, becoming a character. Filmmaking is creating memories. But do you think one can lose maybe his or herself in like acting? Like you just lose yourself? No, your not necessarily. Self? I mean, the aim is to lose yourself, basically. If you want to become a character, you have to lose yourself and become. A part of you is still going to be because no matter the character you're picking mm -hmm. up, there's always a part of you that is that character. For example, the character is male and you're male and you're male. That's a part of you respecting. So you don't necessarily lose all of yourself, but you're going to lose the majority of yourself to become something else. You but, have to create the vacuum. But if you keep doing that over time, the high tendency is that you probably just, just not what? find you. I mean, I, I, like I said earlier on, I don't even know what you in this case is. So. I, I, I don't know. You, you for me is constantly becoming. Do you get so? It's, it might be different for people, but for me, you, you is just becoming. You is evolving with time. Over and over. Yeah, it's because gross. whoever it is that you're referring to as you now is never the same person that he or she was two years ago, too. So. Very true. Very true. Very so why true. not control what you become instead? Like, um, you haven't changed that morning because it's a thought process. We're going, to, we're going to read all these ways for you because why is all this happening? I thought this was a party, but it's for me. No, so I'm not even doing you pacing. I'm doing you seated. If I, if I want to duplicate this thing, I need to do you. Yeah. So it's just you seated, more inclined forward. Then after a while, you just sit back and you look here. When you look here, is when this is supposed to be. Yeah. Da -da -da -da, Ten years ago, I don't know. So when did you discover <laughs> so that you, you could be a director? Uh, 2014. I can't remember what I was like. No, I'm like 2014, but I can't remember what I was. Wow. But before then, you've always done acting. 
yeah, acting, writing, producing, even directing. But it was so important. I felt like, yeah, this, this I can do. But when you see your film being played on like big screen, like in the cinemas, how do you feel about it? I'm more concerned about the audience reaction. It's more or less an assessment for me to do better, to know what to work on, and um, I mean, basically, just know what to work on in the next project. Treat has them as a sample a, study. I get it. But has there been a time where you see the finished film and you felt like, oh, we would have done better here? No, every every time, even before it gets to cinema, every time. If you don't think you could do better, then you're not growing. Every single scene, every single film, there's always the feeling that we can do better. Hmm. Okay. But you as a director, do you get your team? Like I mean the continuity guy, like I hear you saying this. No, not all the time. Not all the time. It's subjective to the producer also. I suggest people that can work with. But if they have theirs, it's fine. Because if I suggest my team and they cannot afford them then and the show has to go on. Then I ask for their team, I ask for works that their team have done and I see if it works for me. And I'm willing to collaborate with everybody. Just have some sense that way. But the, the, how like the smooth sailing of your directing, does it have to do with your team or regardless of any team you work with? I think it has to do with me because okay. I have experience in a couple of, in almost everything. So I only just need to understand the strengths of everybody and work with their strengths and um, augment their weaknesses, complement it. I see your films are doing amazing, you got an award. And how how is that, you know, being recognized in the field that you put so much work into? I think it's great. It's an affirmation that I'm doing what is right. Um, I think I'm not there yet, to be honest. Um, the award is not necessarily just mine. It's more or less for the efforts of the team that we're part of. Making. Very true. Yeah. I'm just more like the head, putting all the pieces together to make it work and getting the right people to make it work. Um, yeah, I mean, well, you got the best actor, yeah. so that's yeah. that's a lot of something. <laughs> Still, exactly. But then I couldn't have gotten the best actor if I was not acting alongside other actors very that true. would bring very that true. out of me. So, so yeah, I did that wonder in Toronto, Canada, for team, and I think it's exciting. It just means that I know what I'm doing, and um, it's an encouragement, basically. Mm. I like, and I've been seeing the great work you've been doing here with the light, action, but it's more technical, yeah. it's more like your head has to be in it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Yes. I've had quite an amazing time. This is the first time I've even said that. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. I think I, I need to this, go back to my paperwork. work. Uh, I think this if I can do some directing. This is not a lot. This is, this is still a like... For me, it's a lot. Yeah, maybe I guess, you know. But this, this, this is just making it work. Making it work. But yeah. 